Hello guys, how are we all diddling? We will be getting our first 99 on the account as we're going to go from 92 to 99 range in this video. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out the playlist as we've built this pure from scratch solely at the Revenant Caves. I looked back at going from level 1 to level 92 range and in the three videos we made 231 mil, so I'm curious to know if we'll make more or less than that in this single video. Start and bank value is going to be 554 Millington. Start in Revenant KC is going to be 30,905, a grand total of zero weapons. We're feeling extra fruity, so we've upgraded the set. We've got some Elder Chaos Druid there, and we've also got the Spiked Manacles for the extra max hit on the Ranite Maul. Risking 17 mil if we get smited, but you know, it's unlike me to lose a crossbow. And about 3.3 plus my looting bag if we don't. Ooh, chill out my boy, we are just starting out, already have my head sliced in. Fortunately, this absolute raid boss doesn't actually have the agility shortcut. Time to do some laps, buddy. Here we go, first successful trip, got ourselves a little 400k Kia and 2.5 in the looting bag. Run into the bank with 3 mil to kick things off. We've no issue bullying around these parts, but if you're going to be running around at level 50 with a crossbow, I love you 500k fella. Who is this man? I was gonna run away, but looking at his gear, level 76, this man's looking like an absolute little snack for us. So long, brother. Little G Mall to the dome. Oh, just a 15 whack. Thank the Lord if you had a slightly quicker weapon there as well, he'd got another attack off, but woo, well, that man was smoking us. Hey, coming in with a 4 mil medallion. That's a really nice one to see. Oh, hello, we have a battle. If it's all the same to you, fella, I'll just pick up my lootations before we engage. I think this man might be out here. Yes, he is. They don't expect me to have the telly block. Tell you what, 2.6, that's a bit of all right, that, isn't it? I think dragon crossbows have gone up. Um, This man probably wants to eat some food. You're looking very hungry there, fella. Nope, you're, <laughs> you're just going to die to the maledictus. Okie dokie, then. Oh, his loot disappeared. It's so weird with the Meledictus. Um, oh, okay, I just missed out on his effort because apparently I can't click and that man come and snaked it from underneath me. But it is our drop. We get the blue skull and a 500k emblem from our first Meledictus. About to be another Meledictus down. Question is, am I going to beat this main account with a chain mace? The answer is yes. And that's another 500k emblem. Unlucky fella, get good. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Oh, he drops a nice. What a humble fella. A 2.1 miller. We absolutely take those straight to the bonker coon. Ooh, could have had the man. Unlucky, mate. But he doesn't have the agility shortcut, so it should be a nice, simple do agility. for us. Fucking siller. <laughs> Man's having a little meltdown because we've escaped, you know, as as you're meant to do from PKs, but he's 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 gonna have a little paddy about it. Oh you absolute melt. <laughs> no way you ran up <laughs> Oh fast as fuck boy. Ooh, a one mil totem. Mom! I just got 90 HP! Oh -ho -ho, absolute throbber of a bag. May have slightly overstayed my welcome there. And good fight, fella, coming in here attacking me, you fucking wizard robes. Oh, I may have made just a little mistake here, boys. So this man started to attack me, hits me with a 61 Dragon Bolt, and it got my knees shaky, boys. It got me a little bit panicky. Yep, hits me with a Darox, prayer drops. Good fight, crossbow. I am the sort of man that's in the market for losing crossbows. I do like to feed the PKs every now and then. Uh, yeah, 18 mil loss. We're a little in the red right now. I've had one of my cracking ideas, lads, and 0.7% of ladies, according to YouTube. As a little punishment, and to make up for the crossbow lost, I've decided that I'm not going to bank my looting bag until it has the price of a brand new crossbow in it. So, we're not going to be banking the loot until our looting bag is at a very healthy 13 mil. I think I can do it, boys. Just got to have a little bit of faith. Maledictus down, and that is going to be our drop, 500k M. It's a solid start. We're on the rebuild, boys. Oh, my God, that's absolutely huge. That hit wasn't bad either. Hey, two mil statuette, and that's going to take our looting back to about six mil, so pretty much halfway there now. 
got this man on the ropes. Oh, that was the clutchest TBI I've ever thrown. You're level 101, fella. You cannot be getting outlasted by a pure. 1.2 mil from that man, and that both seem kind of more expensive than they ever were. gonna be huge 10.4 mil we were getting so close to the loot and bag dream but unfortunately it's not to be that's a pretty big loss uh, we actually almost got smited again oh bren congratulations on your shitty little pet pal stop trying to get nice things whilst i'm here crying we're not gonna try replicating the loot and bag dream because otherwise we're not gonna make any profit in this episode uh, look who's back, our oh boy Barspin having another little meltdown. Why don't you just do a little bit of agility, bro? <laughs> we might be a little bit in the red right now, but there is absolutely no way we are down as bad as this guy that has absolutely <laughs> lost the plot. Here we go, first range level coming in, that's going to be level 93 range, and I feel like already in this episode, just from one range level, we've had quite a lot go on, uh, I'm not sure how much of this my heart can take, we've still got a long old way to go to 99 range, but I'm just going to kill this Cyclops, because I think we've got a pretty decent looting bag. Come on, boy. Let's get him down. You're making me look a little bit silly here. Here we go. Just what's this final loot going to be? It's going to be absolutely fiddly feckle. So what's in the looting bag? 2.9 Millington. Here we go. About to get down the mallard. Don't mind if I diddly dictus for our drop. Another 500 km. But where's the mill ones? But I think, again, we should have a fairly tasty looting bag. 4.5 in the bag plus the 500 k. That's 5 mil. We're making it back, boys. We're on the comeback. This will almost... Definitely be our drop again. Another 500k M, but we found that Maledictus really quickly after the last one. So we're all fighting this Maledictus, and there's a little bit of a story time in this one. See that man that got his head caved in just there? Yeah? He's the one that got the drop. I don't think that the PK was really that focused on him getting the emblem and wasn't that interested in waiting around for it, but I was. So we waited around for the emblem to spawn, but... The man was incredibly quick, and with great swiftness, he came back to the Revenant Caves. He did manage to get his emblem, but in all his haste, he didn't bring any food. So, I was there to pounce in some snake-like behaviour, and... Thank you very much. Karma might not be on our side, but we do have an extra 650k to the bank. This is one of the clips I've had the most displeasure in ever recording. We get an 8 mil effigy. It's huge, it's big, and I want it in my bank account. But a pretty good PK gets on us. You know how I snaked that man's emblem? Well, karma come to kick me in the fucking nuts because this PK kills me and takes my emblem. I did try and rush back in the hopes that he hadn't seen it, but he had. Good fight, a total of about 13 mil. Okay, yeah, I know we got obliterated, but what were these man's hits? So he hit the Max Claw special straight into the Bolt Proc Max. That's like 115 damage in a few ticks. Probably best you don't look how close I was to getting smited there either. Again. This is not ideal. This man is absolutely stacked up to nice. Just don't get smited again, whatever we did. Oh. Got hit by the Maledictus and him. Oh man, our fortunes have taken a tumble for the worst, boys. So far, we have lost about 48 mil in the 10 hours we've been in the caves. So if anyone's looking for a cheeky little money maker, killing me sits right between completing the corrupted Gordner and killing General Gradol. Things are not going according to plan, but you can sit and cry about it, or you can make a cup of tea, calm down, get yourself back in the caves. And guess what, lads? The kettle's just finished fucking boiling. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Oh, the 16 mil, the best drop you can get! Man, oh man, we needed that! My god, has today been an absolute fucking roller coaster. Took this man's head clean off of his shoulders for a cheeky little one miller, and that is the first Laren's key I've got from someone, so that poor man was just doing a slayer task. Oh, thank god for the escape on this one. That man was a scary looking Zerka. Good fight, buddy. We should have a pretty decent looting bag as well. 2.8. We're on the comeback, boys. We're in the green. Pow pow, left, right, good night. I am absolutely fucking unbelievable at this game. Ah!
Oh, fucking hell, what are those hits? Unbelievably fucking shite at the game. Oh, it landed. That is a fucking clutch entangle. Okay. Go on in. How much into the pits? 5.7 mil. Yes! That is what we fucking needed. A big boy. 8 mil effigy. Right. Let's pick this bad boy up. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Just a low level. Let's not lose this one as well. Bear with two seconds. I just need to escape this magician. But we should be packing a decent little bit in the looty there. 2.4 mil. I call this one the old entangled slingshot. We use the entangle on. We are gone, boy. See you later, mate. Break your ankles. Goodbye. So long. Thanks for coming. And goodbye. Here we go, boys. A range level coming in. Level 94 range. And they have been bloody action-packed. If you are enjoying it thus far, would you be kind enough to leave my uh, cheeky little like? Maybe even a comment? Why not subscribe? Anyway, checking the old Looty Scooty. 2.8 mil. Oh, <laughs> a revenant weapon. They do exist. The old Vigoria's Chain Mace. That is such a nice drop to see. Come on, boys. Shall we see just how many revenants that took us? Come on, it's going to be a big one. <laughs> 33,659 revenants to see our first weapon. But we have seen it. We are back out here bullying poor accounts. See you later, fella. Crossbows is always worth a kill. Cheeky 630k and 2.3 in the looty. Interesting fact, if you stand on one leg and then use the Gene Maul special, it actually negates the uh, Patek's Melee Prayer. Not many people know that. That's a decent little anti, that. A nice little accursed scepter and a tome in there and that purple amulet, whatever that is. That's 3.4, your mum's a ho ho ho. 2.5, we take those. No, good fight. Oh, hashtag psych. Suck my fucking nuts in your clan chat. Big boy Dune. And the one mil totem. It's always nice to see. Over the little 500k totem. And I think actually we should have also a pretty decent looty. So let's have a little peek in here. And that's going to be four mil. That's going to be another big boy down. That's not our drop. That drop belongs to Linda2b. Or as I like to call him, Linda. Not to be. Oh, I just had to take it from you. Four mil medallion. Absolutely scrumptious. And a full looting bag of 3.2. We are running to the bank with some moolah. 2.6. Your dad eats dictus. Yep, that is the maledictus. 500k emblem. Very nice. Our drop. If you can spot the bots with an avarice and a crossbow, it's always, always worth your time taking them down. Thank you very much, mate. It's going to be 1.8 mil from you. Here we go, we are going to have a, another range level coming in, that's going to be level 95. One mil totem, and all these little ones do add up, and in the looting bag we've got 2.9. These random revenant bosses, they do mix it up nicely, that's another mil totem, and of course the Forency Surge. Think I've got enough kill credit on this boss not to worry about it, so let's try to spec this man's eyes out. Oh, it wasn't meant to be, shoulda, woulda, coulda, if I'd have hit slightly higher. Um, although it should be our kill on the boss, hopefully. There he goes. And we might be able to get this kill as well. Um, it is our kill. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> we got 60 mil relic from the boss. I have literally never seen that. Well, let's just give the whole hog and get this kill as well as the relic. So we've got the 16 mil relic. We got the 500k from the boss. Wait, hang on. This man's literally risking about 500k. This this is a bad idea. Let's just run because it would be classic me to lose that. That is insane. I've seen a lot of Maledictus kills in my time and I don't think I've ever seen anyone got the 16 million emblem from it. So cool. Okay, so in the half hour of that blue skull, we had no PKs and I absolutely try hard at it. 1.7 mil in 30 minutes. Boom. 8 mil emblem. So there I was, killing the Maledictus, having a jolly good time when someone attacks me off. But, little did he know, as previously mentioned, I'm fast as fuck, boy! And I'll be coming back to pick up my rightful goodies. 3.7 added to the bunk account. 
That's a blister there, buddy. So you're going to actually want to uh, pre-range for that one. Yeah, no, if you just want to pop that pre-range on. There we go. That's it. You finally, finally got there. And oh, it turns out it really doesn't matter what we pray. Yeah, again, mate, that's a, that's a blister. So uh, pre-range, you're going to get hit really hard. It's kind of slow weapons. So you should be able to predict that. That's it. Just pop that pre-range on there, buddy. I feel like you're not really learning your lesson. That's a 42. Probably best you protect rangers. You're going to die. Like that. Good fight. Good fight, 4.5 mil. Oh, caught blimey, mate. That was a bit of a bloody close one, wasn't it, fella? Let's see what's in the old looty here. Two mil <laughs> just drops the shit. I love that. Next level we're coming in with is level 96 ranged. There we go. That's going to be the big maledictus down. We got a 500km from that one. Oh, that one can't fit in the looting bag, which probably means we've got a pretty decent looty. Let's have a little check in here and see what we got. Oh, 3.5 plus the 500k emblem. Oh, yes, the old Craw's bow. Now, I do not mind if I diddly do. Second wilderness weapon. We started this episode with none. We now have the Vigora's chain mace and the Craw's bow. Honestly, the disrespect on these boys is fucking disgusting. He used to demand respect around this place. Let's have a little look at the log then. So, 37, 589, and we are now only missing a Theremin Scepter. That do be looking a little bit sweeter than when we started. We're out of supplies. Run, 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 my boy. Splash the entangle, and we're gone. Too slow on the TB there, fella. This is going to be a good fight, my boy, on the very last level that we're able to attack him. Our PK'd Avarice collection is growing ever stronger. Hey, that is always a big boy to see the 16 Millington emblem. That is in the same day as the crossbow, which is so, so cool. Made so much money today. It's actually funny that they're worth more than the crossbow. But thank you very much. I will slurp that one straight up. Catch you on the flip side, Mad Driller. Another day, another avarice. <laughs> Jeez, I really don't know what either of us were doing there, but that was pretty close to losing a 4.2 mil looty. See you later, fella. Don't do it. Don't turn around and pick up those D-legs. Good. Thought he was coming for me. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to pick up my D-leg, Oh, you shouldn't have done it, buddy. You shouldn't have done it. Thank you very much. There we go. D-legs successfully reclaimed. There we go. There's my D-legs back. And uh, yeah, apparently he didn't protect time either. So I'll have a little uh, avarice extra for wasting my fucking time. Cool, I'll tell you what, hope you boys are hungry, because we are absolutely feasting at the moment. Doesn't that look bloody beautiful on the ground? Oh, he fucking caped us as well. He had barrage and he caped us. That is a bad time to cape, mate. I should be able to get the escape here. Yes, I can. Should we Should we be a little bit cheeky? Let's drop him the wasted cape. <laughs> See you later, fella. Thank you for coming, as always. Ah. Huh. Ah, oh, would appear we're dead. I was just about to wind up my shoulder to uh, unleash a fucking great G-Mule, but never mind, 4.5, good fight. I've really got to stop spending so long winding up my G-Mules, because, uh, yeah, that happens, and if we had Pid, that would have been our kill, but 6 mil, that's a bit of a stinger. Oh, I could have died from that DDS, that was so lucky. Oh my, <laughs> what? I died from the obstacle damage, does he get the kill? I don't get sm I wasn't smited, okay? I wasn't smited. It's come up as, as I've lost 5.1, so maybe he got the key. I don't really know. Honestly, that couldn't have worked out any better. I got both of his and my stuff back. I think both of our stuff just dropped to the ground and neither of us ended up with keys. And he didn't come back for whatever reason, so thanks very much. So, 
after analysing this clip, it's actually quite funny. So I get the kill, and normally I'd get the key straight away. But because I'm using the obstacle, it delays it, so I don't get the key. So his stuff drops to the ground. Also, my prayer drops to zero, but because I'm crossing the obstacle, I don't actually get smited, so I don't lose the crossbow with the delay from the obstacle. Although it looks like I did. So yeah, just a really funny all-round clip, and not something you'll probably see replicated anytime soon. So we came across a guy that I thought might have a little bit of risk unscold. So we did attack him. We managed to get the kill. Only just I might add. He very nearly outlasted me. And it was worth the kill because he had a little bit of risk. He then came back on what looked to be some sort of baby pure that he could teleblock me on. I don't know if he knew that when an account that's TB'd someone died, that TB wears off. So we killed that account and the TB wore off. He then came back again in what looked like some half decent risk, unscored again. So we fought and killed him again. And in total, we made over six mil off this guy. And honestly, there were some pretty easy kills. So I'm not really sure what this guy was doing, but I'm not complaining. This man hunts me at Revenants like a fucking hound. But on this occasion, it was good fight us. Good fight, fella. And walking away with a nice tasty 4.6 mil. Always good to feed the boys. Terrible time for Mr. Pockets to ask for a rank, so he gets a suck of my salami. This PK has absolutely no idea where I had to fly with the left, right? Good night. See you later, fella. What an absolutely outrageous special. Drops the what, and rightly so. Thank you very much, fella. But they are now my goodies. And we've also got a nice little bit of the looty. We are taking about five mil to the bank. This man will not die. <laughs> Just die. I'm staying to the end. If I die, I die. I am... I, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to be outlasted by this man. Hit! Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> We're going to die. Oh, that was right. Yep. Was it worth the risk? Yeah, solid 388k. Where risking 5 mil was definitely worth that kill. Oh. Well, hello, Vagora's Chain Mace. Is that our second Chain Mace and third weapon of the episode? I do and diddly believe it is. Breaking news. Unbelievably good YouTuber. Misses penultimate level, but there is level 98 range. We have been absolutely rearranged by this man, and the obstacle killed us. Cool. Needed to get out some pent-up anger on this poor noob as I was coming back, so we did teleblock him so he couldn't get into the enclave. I just wanted this man's strength amulet, really, and uh, poor silly fella took his cash deck out. Did try adding him to give it back. Oh well, yeah, that's what they will say, right? But unfortunately, he was offline, so we just had to take his cash deck. Poor man was just going to kill a few bears. Things you absolutely love to see, an 8 mil statuette. We got caught at literally the worst possible time at the boss by an absolute tonk. So that's going to be good fight, 4.8. <laughs> oh, amulet of avarice coming in. Honestly, we've had more than our fair share of weapons in this episode, I feel like. So a cheeky little avarice coming in, we take those. What did I tell you about this man hunting me down like an absolute hound? Uh, yeah, we got a few escapes, but unfortunately he got us again on this occasion. And we're quite a lot of loot that time. It's going to be 7.1 mil to the Shadow Realms. This man happened to be absolutely picking our brains apart. Goes in for the double declaw, but we do manage to just about out eat it. No bruise there. Who needs bruise? Who needs bruise, fellas? I know we get a little comments about that. Best form of defense is offense. <laughs> Lovely little G ball spec coming in there out of nowhere. Wouldn't have pulled that one out my ass being brewed down, would I? Play your own game, lads. Cheeky 2.8. <laughs> another cross we have had some weapon luck in this episode two cross and two chain races and that is just 50k before 99 range i love to see it here it is boys coming in with 99 range where is my pop-up interrupted scammed of the most important level but there it is level 99 in the first 99 on a rev slayer 4 but before we get into the loot tab from 99 range, let me tell you, it is incredibly juicy. We also made just about 75 mil from 100 kills. This was some of the antis you saw during the video, but also alongside that, just one hit and bots that didn't tell you from me. As we all know, the caves are absolutely infested with bots. You get all sorts of different types. But one thing I can say is, as of this week, there seems to be a ton less. So I think Jagex are clearly working on something to try and do a little summon about it. As well as the 75 mil from the loot chest, we also made 35 mil from the 29 mallard don't mind if I diddly dictus, getting very lucky with that 16 million emb, and of course, as the guaranteed drops of either the 500k or the 1 mil emblems. 
You saw a lot of good drops in this episode, but revs in general just absolutely print money. This is just a snippet of the overflowing sacks of goodies that we claimed and run back to the bank. And the final request I have before I stop stalling is I've put over 100 hours into this episode, so if you'd be kind enough to leave it a like, maybe even a cheeky little comment, I really do appreciate. I enjoy reading, and I often get back to you guys. Now, let's get to that juicy loot. And here it is, the final loot tab. We got every single Revenant drop, randomly, other than the 2 mil statuette, and of course we needed the Scepter to finish the set of weapons and green the log. But, all in all, this is a very healthy looking tab. Let's sell it all up and see what we're left with. I decided not to sell the weapons and keep the weapons I get, just as little trophies, but altogether we made 319 mil just off the Revenant loot alone. Our final bank value is going to be ending on 838 mil, and it feels really nice to have made all of that self-sufficient at Revenants from level 3. At the start of this episode, our Revenant KC was 30,905, with precisely zero weapons, and we are ending on 43,725 Revenants killed. That's an increase of 12,820 Revenants we killed in this episode. If you made it this far in the video, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time guys, have a great weekend, and goodbye.